Awesome. So welcome to our team call, August 21st, Tuesday, 2018. Um, I would love to do housekeeping and tell you all the fantastic things, but I didn't know the date until I just looked down at my calendar. So thankfully, Morgan has volunteered to lead this amazing call. She's going to give you guys all the housekeeping stuff you'll need to know for upcoming for the end of August um, into, into September. And then she's going to go over the Rachel Hollis movie that debuted that she went to. Tons of great information. So make sure you have somewhere to take notes. Please, 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 if you are on this call, um, go ahead and log off everything else. Get out of your Facebook, get out of your text messages. If you're on the call, be present in the call because I really want you guys to focus on being present for where you are. And if you're doing bedtime, I get that. Or if you're or in, in the middle of driving home, please focus on driving. I get that as well. Um, but I do want you guys to know that the information on this is so valuable. I don't want you to have to go back and watch it later just because you're here but not really here. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to mute because you guys know I could talk forever and I'm going to turn it over to Morgan. Hi girls. Okay. So, um, feel free to like pop in. I'm going to kind of do this. I didn't really, I have notes. I'm just kind of going to go through what I took away from the movie. And if you have any questions, um, I have like six takeaways for you guys to do. So if you have any questions about those, just unmute yourself and chat, but I'm going to go over the housekeeping. <laughs> Hopefully I do it as good as Jack does. Um, the first on my list is the Lift 4 group. Um, you guys, that group is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There's so many people sharing their sweaty selfies, their real and raw posts. Please go in there every now and then and just go love on the posts, like on the posts. Just share some love. Just let them know that they're not alone. I would super appreciate that. We just started week six. How freaking crazy is that? Is that we're like three weeks away from finishing another program? That's insane. Um, what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to post a poll, um, to see what everybody wants to do next. There's not a date yet for when Proving Grounds is coming out, which is what Chris Downing's next program is going to be. It's like shift shop revamped. It's like 36 to 38 new workouts added to that. So I'm waiting to see when that's coming out to see, cause we had planned on doing core to force, but everybody's loving weights. So I kind of want to stick to like something with weights. So we're thinking 21 day fits maybe chef shop. I don't know. I'm going to post a poll and then in the comments, I'm going to post um, kind of like a short description of each program so that your clients can go in there, see what they want to do. They can vote. So if you can just chat with them and see what they are thinking, what they want to do next. So I can get an idea of what we're going to do next. Um, the diamond roadmap, you guys, I highly suggest it. Even it should be on one of your goals, regardless of what your goals are in this business you should be doing it. It's amazing. If you don't know what it is, um, it's literally just like kind of like a spider web of just showing like you at the top, what diamond looks like, which is four on each leg. And then one of those coaches becoming an emerald. It breaks it down for you guys. So you're not playing the guessing game of who's going to rank advance. And like, you can put your dream team in there. It's amazing. You can do so much with it. You should be doing it, revamping it once a week. And I always put it right in front of my desk when I'm working so I can look up at that bad boy and I know what I'm shooting for. Um, the other housekeeping is uh, the GSR and pay it forward, you guys. is freaking awesome. As new coaches, even as seasoned coaches, I pop in there sometimes because there's always new valuable information. Um, I think a different person does it every, um, right, every time. And um, they always have something new or innovative to share with the new coaches. So it's just nice to know what to share with our other coaches. And as a new coach, it's amazing to just know how to get started right, right? Um, and then Alyssa Corrigan, if you don't know her, she is going to be running a water group, a free water group in the Dream Fierce on the 27th, so Monday. So you guys, invite to those like crazy. It is the best way to plant a seed for somebody and show them the unity of a tribe and what, who doesn't love to like chug water and just drink it up. <gasps> Hi, Taylor. Um, sorry, love. I'm going to put you on boss. Can you mute your mic just in case you have any background noise? Thank you, babe. I know. So weird. Um, she's one of my coaches, guys. I'm so proud. <laughs> um, <laughs> And so, yeah, so she's going to be running a water group. Um, five days, I think, is what we're going to shoot for. But like I said, it's the best way to plant a seed. It's free. It's easy to invite to. Um, 
it's really easy to go back, especially through a follow-up and say, hey, I know you didn't wanna do the paid. Um, how about you wanna do this free water group? Like invite to it. It's so simple. Do it like right after you get off this call. Um, any questions? Ooh, real quick. Yeah. Uh, for the water group too, if you guys put out posts and say, anybody want to join me in a free water challenge? If they comment, just say, awesome, I'll add you. Do you mind tagging five friends? It is the easiest way to get referrals, to build relationships with new people. And they're like, yeah, heck, it's a free water challenge. I'll tag five friends. And just be bold and do that. I didn't do that till like year three in the business. And I was like, what am I doing? These are literally people that I can add value to their lives. And or add two friends or just tag two friends. You add them as a friend and add them to the group. So I would post about it and it's a super easy way. I was just thinking about that. So hope that helps. Yes, genius. I didn't even think about that. Um, everybody else good? Sweet. Okay. So I I can't even put into words, you guys, the Rachel Hollis. First of all, if you're not, if you have not read or have not seen Girl Wash Your Face. You guys seriously buy it like yesterday. It is hands down the best PD you could ever read by far. Like hands down. So good. So good. So when it came, um, she did a, the movie was called Made for More. And it was about her conference that she does called Rise because people wanted to go all the time, but it was expensive. It was only in Cali. So they did um, a video on it <clears throat> and it was amazing amazing. So I'm just going to share with you guys some of my takeaways from it and feel free to be like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you doing? So, um, the quote that I want you to write down at the very top of this is you did not come this far to come this far. Like how impactful is that? And sometimes we think about it and it's like, oh, gosh, I don't know. We just make ourselves so small. Like, we're just like, we're just a beach body coach or we're just this, but you guys, we've come so far. Like we're sharing our journeys real and raw on social media for literally millions of people to see because you have no idea who's watching you, who's not watching you. So when you think about just how far you've come, just think about everything that you have accomplished. Yeah. Um, right. Don't you love it? Um, sorry guys. I told you I'm totally just like going off my notes. So the really thing that she hit on the most was um, about time. And I know a lot of us, we say that we don't have time. Just, we, some of us are full-time moms, moms of four, moms of two, moms of three, moms, I'm a potty training mommy right now. And we talk about how we don't have time. And this really hit me too, is like, I was like, God, I don't have time to invite. Legitimately, you guys, in between our 30 minute potty breaks, I was sending out invites where me and Trinity were sitting on the toilet seeing the potty sign. I literally got out five invites every time we sat down. So you cannot say that you don't have time. Um, and it's not about choosing what you want right now. It's about choosing what you want most. So most of us are in this business because we want more out of life. We want to be free from our nine to fives. We want to pursue making a fashion line. We want to pursue our own businesses. Everybody has a different why. So just, just do it. Just do it. That's, I'm just pleading with you. Just do it. Make the time. We all have the same 24 hours, you guys. You just have to do it. You schedule it out and you make the time, whether it's an hour or 30 minutes. Okay, hold on. Let me open my phone. Give me just a second. And feel free you guys to pop on and like say what you want to. Yeah, actually, I'll chime in because yeah. I've been using the time excuse um, for four weeks. Liam is four weeks in one day. And I'm like, oh, I don't have time. I totally had time. I just preferred to scroll Facebook. I just preferred to sit around and pretend and say I didn't have time. And I was like, so the other day, I think, I don't know, maybe yesterday or the day before I reached out to leaders, I said, I'm so over myself. I'm over the excuses. I know it's only been four weeks. I know my leaders have stepped up. And you guys have just been running this tribe and it's been amazing. But I have people reaching out to me that need help, and I'm not answering them because I'm not making time. I was like, that's pretty, honestly, it's pretty shitty of me. I was like, I have people that want to start their health journey. I see their message in my inbox, but I'm not making time for them. And granted, that came with four years of reaching out every, I mean, the first year, I was telling them too the other day, the first year, 
it was a non-negotiable. I invited every single person. I grew my network every day. I had two kids. I stayed up late. I got up early. I didn't care. I just didn't care. I was like, I have a reason and a I, there's a reason I'm here and there's a reason I'm doing this. And the only one who's going to show up for work is me. And if I don't do it, guess what? I can't, I can't say that I failed because someone failed me. I didn't show up. And so when it comes to making excuses in time, I got my butt handed to me a couple, just a couple days ago. Cause so I was like, what is my purpose? Where am I going from here? Yes. I'm moving with like a week and a half's notice. Yes. I have a four week old baby. Yes. I have three other crazy kids who are in school and in camp and all these schedules. Yes, I don't know literally what day it is, but I need to make time to connect with the people that I want their life to change because this opportunity has changed my life and it is unfair that I'm not making time to change other people's with it. Honestly, that's what it comes down to. I was being selfish. I was scrolling Facebook. I was looking at Instagram. I was commenting back. I was like, Okay, today you're not allowed to comment back to people. Today you're not allowed to read the comments that people post. You're not allowed to do anything but reach out to people. And that's what I did for a couple hours today, a couple hours yesterday. And guess what I was doing? Voice messaging because I don't have two hands to type. I don't. And I'm totally cool with that because I want to hold my baby. And I'm not going to give this up for anything. This is why I do what I do. But I can voice message people. I was sending video messages. Today I stuttered so bad and praised Jesus it was just Trisha. But I mean, I was like, <laughs> I didn't even delete it. I sent it and she, I think she might have peed a little because I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't yeah. function. I'm so sorry. And she was like dying. I was like, I delete it, but it's just you. And that's the reality. My thoughts are going faster than my mouth can move. And I don't know which way is up right now. But the bottom line is I just make it work and I be myself in these invites and these messages and people just are like, no, I get it. I'm like, I'm sorry you messaged me two and a half months ago. I have been selfish and I haven't made time for you. And they're like, no, I get it. I just own it. So with the not having time excuse, Morgan, I'm glad you touched on that because I feel like I was just, I was spinning and making excuses and that does not set the right example for our team. And so I'm leveling up. I'm taking it. I'm at SC six or something like that. And I'm going for 20 by the end of the month. I'm like, no, that means I helped what only 10 people. I can help 10 people in a month. Like that's it. So that's my goal. I'm just, and I'm going to mute again because that's the only way I get myself to be quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are good. Um, my next point, and this is like, it was one of the, one of the many times I, so I went all by myself and that was like, I thought it was the weirdest thing. And I was like in the corner with my little water bottle. But um, I'm so glad I did because I was like ugly crying the whole time. <laughs> and um, the, one of the biggest takeaways was how women thrive. I can't even say thrive loud enough or big enough. They thrive off of community. And one of the amazing activities that she did at her conference was they had a piece of paper and they had all these um, things that they, uh, just different things about them. And they were very deep, you guys. It was like, I have been raped. I am addic I've been addicted to an illegal drug. I have a food addiction. And they had to go through and check which ones they were, right? And they folded it up and then they passed them around. I mean, they passed them around like 20, 30 times and then people would gather them. Um, other people would gather them that worked for her and then they would move them over to the other side of the room. So you had no idea where your paper was. Then you open it up and they would read them at the stage and people would stand up if that was checked off on their paper. So it was showing that women standing up for other women. And I was like, Oh, it was just so impactful. And these women were crying because it was just like these women were standing up for them. And I feel like that's what um, Beachbody does for us. We stand up for each other. We create this tribe. We, we, um, we fight for each other. We cheer each other up. We lift each other up. You guys, and that's how we thrive. So lean into this community when you are having a hard time. If you're struggling with your nutrition, if you're struggling with your business, if you are you know, struggling with a family issue, you know, reach out to your reach out to your coach, reach out to somebody that you're connecting with. You guys, you guys are not alone. We, that's literally how we thrive. And, um, this world outside of, you know, our coaching world is the total opposite where women are bashing each other. We are comparing each other. We're sitting behind screens, just comparing each other. It's, it's not fun. So in this community thrive, you guys, and then share that with other people because we desperately need that as a world. Um, <laughs> Another one, it's really simple. It's you are in control of you. Literally nobody else has control of what you're doing, you guys. You have control of your business. You have control over your workouts. You have control over your nutrition. 
you're just in control of you. You can't blame anybody else. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and know that the reason you're not either not thriving or you are thriving is because at the end of the day, it's you. Okay. Um, and then another question you can ask yourself daily is life, is life happening to you or is life happening for you? Write that down, write it bold because I've been reading that and I'm like, dang, that's a, it's always a gut check for me. Um, and then another one is, does this situation, does it make you a victim or does it make you a warrior? Because you have the choice every time to either play the victim or be the warrior in every situation. Um, hold on, hold on. Okay. Are you guys ready for the takeaways? I have six of them. What I want you to do is write them down. I'll, I'll write them down too, but I don't want you to do all of them. I want you to choose one. Because I know sometimes we go into this team call and we get all these takeaways, we write them down, we're all excited, we want to do all the things, right? At least that's what I do. <laughs> and I, you, you just, you get lost and you're like, you can't figure everything. So I want you to take one of these and do it. And you can, probably some of them you can do too, they're pretty simple. Okay, so the first one is write a persistence letter to yourself with everything that you have done, with everything that you've completed, with everything that's worth celebrating. You guys, there is something that you have completed or celebrated that you can cheer yourself on for. We make ourselves so small because we get on social media, we see rank advancements, we see um, transformations, and then we make ourselves really small because we feel like we're not there. But you guys have to celebrate. Celebrate your small beings. So write down your letter and always start it with I am. I am amazing. I am, or I have completed, one of my biggest things ever, I think, in my whole journey is that I completed 80-day obsession. That was hands down by far to me, till this day, one of the hardest programs ever. 80 days, that was insane. And that was, it was crazy. So that is hands down one of the best things that I've ever done. So that's number one. Um, two, clean your house. That sounds so simple, right? But I think now more than ever is I realize is that when my house is dirty or I, things are scattered, my mind is so scattered. I can't focus on inviting. I can't focus on my business. Um, my kids are making, it's, it's becoming a bigger mess half the time. Um, no. No, no, I can't because daddy's right there. I'm sorry. Go, 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 please. Seriously, my husband's right there. Um, <laughs> you guys, that meme is real. My husband's really right there on the couch. Okay, so clean your house. It is, it's just, it's crucial, you guys. Having a clean house, your business is more organized. You feel more organized. You feel more put together. And for me, I really struggle with a clean house. I'm going to share that with you guys. I really, really do. Having a clean house and laundry are my two biggest struggles ever. So my goal in this business was to make enough money to hire a cleaning lady to come at least once a month. You can judge me if you want, but it's something that I want, and it gives me, it frees me up to work on my business, to spend time with my kids. So it's just something that, it's one of the things that I have. I want a cleaning lady, and I actually want a cleaning lady once a week. We're gonna get there, <laughs> right? Yes. Um, number three, evaluate the five people around you, the closest five people. I can guarantee you guys, those five people are who you are. Can guarantee you hands down. If you have somebody that is negative around you, you're gonna be a little bit negative. If you have somebody that's positive around you and happy all the time, you're gonna be positive. I can guarantee you my top five people, and it sounds really, really, I promise it sounds super like fluffy, but I not. The top five people are five, the five girls, I think it's more than five girls, in our leader thread. I surround myself with them every day. I wake up and I look at that thread because they lift me up, they support me. They're positive. We share everything. I'm telling you, you should have goals to get into our leader thread because it is amazing. Um, and I oh, go real quick. Um, yeah. It's about that thread. And actually, we wanted to put it out there, too, on the team page. So this is a great time to say it. It's, that Level Up leader thread is not like this. Um, you don't have to reach like five star diamond to get into the thread. Know what you need to do. You just have to say, guys, I want to be a leader and I want to take on more responsibility and I just want to push my business to the next, to the next level. Um, but be fair warned that we chat often in there. 
but we chat and we do our work. We don't spend the whole time in there just catching up. I mean, we share hilarious memes and we voice message. We share stuff going on with our families. Like it's, it's just the next level of community. And again, it's not for, um, if you aren't going to work the business, it's not just a hangout, but it is the next level of the business. It's taking it up. It's saying, okay, we're going to, it's those challenges every single day or those challenges, not every day, but every week saying, this is my goal. I fell off being honest and real. And again, if you do, if you want to join, we are all for that, but don't just jump in because you have FOMO. Don't say, oh, I want to get in that leader thread. I need to join right now, but I'm not ready to commit. Give yourself a goal. Say, you know what? On September 1st, after I reached Emerald rank, I'm going to reach out and ask to be in that leader thread so that I can take my business to the next level to surround myself with leaders so I can become one of these tribe leaders. Like you guys, it's not just, it, it started out with just me. And if I kept it to just myself, <laughs> that would be a pretty lame team. I mean, I can talk myself off a meat wagon. I don't know what that means, but I've heard it before. <laughs> a dog off a meat wagon or something. I don't know. <laughs> I think there's a saying. But, you know, I mean, if I kept it to just me, it wouldn't be fun. I know, Tracy. <laughs> I'm lame, okay? But seriously, so th th give yourself that as well as all your other call to actions. But think about it and say, I want to join, like, I'm, I'm willing to level up. I want to take it to the next step. So I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> yes. All right. Number, why do I feel like that's not number three? One, two. Mm, I need to go ahead number four. <laughs> um, habits. I want you to pick one habit that you have, and I want you, a bad habit, not a good habit. Pick one bad habit and change it. Whether it's eating junk food, drinking wine, spending too much money. I know. <laughs> Preach. I'm not doing that. Um, just pick one habit and I want you to change it for 30 days, not even 21 days. We're going a full 30. I feel like that's when you make a complete change. Um, I love you guys. Um, is this really bad? I told my husband I wouldn't shop on Amazon. I was like, or we just wouldn't shop this week. We're trying to move. I'm like, all right. I mean, I might not even have an address by the end of the weekend. So I'm like, oh my God, I can't shop on Amazon. So I was looking at Amazon memes, like Amazon attic memes. Or, yeah, and it was really entertaining. I did that for 30 minutes before the call. I would love to say I did something productive. But it made me laugh really hard, and it helped me not to shop. So that might be a tip. Look up memes. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, and so the best way to describe it, and I loved how she used this analogy. I hope that's what it's called. Hmm. It's pebbles versus boulders. So I want you, that's why I told you guys to pick one of these to implement and do that one just wholeheartedly. Because when you choose multiple things, like we're choosing like to grab from this training and that training, it's like when you take, pick up a whole bunch of pebbles and you drop it into a lake, right? It kind of trickles down. It makes like a little bit of an effect. You can just see a whole lot of pebbles moving, right? Um, versus when you pick up a big boulder and you throw it and launch it into the lake, it's like boom. And like you just see this huge effect, right? That is how picking one thing, implementing it and doing it well, that is, that's like the action. Just do it well in the, the compound effect. It's amazing. Do it. Um, a lot of you guys are not going to like me for this one. Wake up one hour earlier than you set your alarm for. I say that because I <laughs> don't hate me. Okay, so this is the habit that I chose. I usually wake up around 5.15, 5.30. I've been waking up at 4, you guys, because I legitimately had that excuse. I was like, I don't have time to do all these invites and follow up and make sure I'm checking in with the leaders and checking in in this group, but I did. I was choosing that time to sleep. And sleep is important, yeah, right? We all love it. I get it. We're working full-time. We're moms. We're students. We're, we're all the things. But... We're choose, it's all how you spend to choose them. And if you can sit here and tell me what the latest Netflix binge is that you just did, you definitely have time to work this business. I'm so sorry. I know. I'm hitting a lot of truth bombs. <laughs> I know. I know. And you can honestly, you can watch Netflix and invite, but you have to be productive. Yeah? Okay. Because I watched Shameless and I was inviting. Don't judge me. I think I watched G.I. Joe or something last night, and I, I worked all night. Like, Brian put something on. I was like, is this a good movie? And I'm, like, voice messaging people. There's bombs going off in the background. I was like, I need to work. Like, I love it. It's a good thing that you said to pick only one, because so far, I only like your first one. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're all good, I promise. Oh, damn. 
Um, this is probably my favorite one. Um, I think Louise, I don't know if she shared it with just the leaders. Um, but Crystal Milligan saw it as well. And this is probably my favorite make a, I'm, I'm calling it my badass playlist. It is a playlist on Spotify, Apple music, whatever you listen to your music on, you put songs that when you put it into your headset or you put it on your speakers, you feel good. That launches your mood instantly no matter how mad you are whatever it is so a few songs that i love obviously i'm the greatest showman fanatic i love it everybody that's seen it if you know the song this is me and it's crazy because rachel hollis actually did that song at the end of her movie and i was like ugly crying again but it's so good it's just so empowering and it's just it's so good so just i don't care if it's a booty shaking song just do 10 songs make a list throw it on in the morning when you're waking up an hour earlier and just get moving. Okay. Super. That one's super simple, right? That's why I said you can maybe do two. Um, and then my last one is on Sundays, check in with yourself. Jack posts, um, a really amazing post in our new coach thread of checking in with how many people you talk to, how many new coaches you added, but not only that you guys check in, how much stuff did you complete? Is your house clean? Do you feel good? How, how do you feel? Do you feel like you've completed a lot? And if you don't, evaluate what happened in the week. Did something, I mean, did you have a bad day? And you have like inviting, did you not wake up earlier that day? Check in with yourself. See what you can change. See what you can evaluate. And then move on from there. I think that's it. Let me just double check. You guys are going to probably hate me. Don't hate me. Um, oh. And this is the one thing that she would always say that the crowd would say back. It's same you, new mood. So same me, but new mood, right? If you get into a bad mood. So I want you to say that too. So write it down, big letters. Same you, new mood. And that is what I have to give to you. I hope you guys liked it. Yes, the only one I'm telling not to wake up earlier, I said it in the in the chat, is Nikki. She's not allowed. She already wakes up at 3.30. She, she also you know, yeah, I was like, no, Nikki, no, you may not wake up earlier. Um, but I will say, with you know, if you're getting up at 3.30, I would, this is what I do if I'm like really, like I'm starting to be up at, well, today was four, but really you started five o'clock again yesterday. And I was like, hi, I'm up like a hundred times in the night. Well, because I want things to change. Um, and so I've been waking up, setting my alarm for five. I grab my phone because that's just what we do in the morning. Like the first thing I do is grab my phone. It, the alarm went off. Oh, now I'm distracted by a message I saw. Or now I'm distracted by the reminder to do my daily devotional or whatever it is. So I have my book, Daily Devotional. Well, guess what? I lay in bed and I read this Daily Devotional on my phone till 5.03 when my next alarm goes off. Like every minute is accounted for in the morning. And I found, so <laughs> 503, and then until 515, I'm getting ready. I have to have my energized before that. I'm feeding Liam. I'm changing him. I have till 515, 530, the latest. And if I can't account for every single minute during that time, then I'm wasting them. And so what I would do when I first started this business is I would send out invites in that time. I would do my Bible study, and then I would be like, okay, from 515 to 530, or even 515 to 520. Since I make my list on Sunday of everyone that I want to invite that week, it's very easy for me to go ahead and invite those people in five minutes. You know, and if you're organized and you've evaluated your week from the week before, if you are organized and your minutes are counted for, you're not scrolling Facebook, you're not adding to, you don't need to post at five o'clock in the morning. You don't need to post at 515. You can post at eight o'clock once you get to work or once you're all set and you can slow down, just do your workout, get your stuff done, then worry about posting. There is stuff that I wanna post first thing in the morning when it comes to my Bible study, because I'm like, oh, it speaks to me right now, but guess what, if I spend 10 minutes putting a post together, that's 10 minutes, then my workout is pushed behind, that's 10 minutes my kids get up later, that is 10 minutes that I don't have to get them breakfast, and then they're, we're all screaming at each other at 7.05, and we have 10 minutes to get out of the house by 7.15, and, and it's chaos. So, if my post doesn't go up right away, but I've gotten my daily devotional done, I've reached out to the leaders, I've checked in the team pages, um, you know, I've messaged and invited, really, and I, I usually do my follow-ups first thing in the morning, because that's what gets me. 
then I feel like a rock star. I feel like a rock star. I'm like, what did I even do today by 4 p.m.? I'm like, oh, I already did all the things. So everyone's like, how do you get it done? I make sure that I'm accounting for every single minute. And that's why I love when Morgan said, go back and evaluate your week. How did it look? Did you get stuff done? And if I'm like, no, but I posted a ton, it's like, yeah, congratulations, Jack. You posted a ton. You always post a ton. That is not an accomplishment. An accomplishment is following up with people and inviting people and building your network. That's an accomplishment because that's how you're going to change lives. The post will come naturally. Um, so Morgan, I can't thank you enough for sharing those takeaways. Uh, they're awesome. Um, can you just recap the, I know that Jane was writing them. So number one is write the letter. Start with I am or I have completed. Um, number two is clean your dang house. Um, which I love. Number three, evaluate the five closest people around you. That's going to be really difficult, guys, but it's going to be very huge. That's that, you know, level up thread, get into it, surround yourself with people that are working this business. If you want to work the business, you better be surrounding yourself with people that are working and not making excuses. Like today, I mean, I chatted with a couple people today and the level of negativity and just not like at me, but just in their lives, it was like an emotional energy suck. And I told myself, I was like, they're close to me. And I was like, I need to take a break. I'm not going to talk to that person for a week. And not like, I'm not talking to you for a week. Not like making a scene about it. I'm going to be busy anyways with the boys. I'll shoot them a text. I can't talk right now. I'm busy with the boys. You know, it doesn't have to be this big dramatic thing. But I felt drained after the conversation I had today. So I, ha I have to draw that line in the sand. I don't have time to be drained. And I love this person very much. They will be in my life for the rest of my life. They're a person who's very close to me, but I'm, I was drained after that. So I think that's so huge. Number four was pick one bad habit you have and change it, even if it's shopping on Amazon. That sucks. And then number five, uh, is it evaluating your week or how would you title that? Um, I just did Sunday's check-in with yourself. Okay. So perfect. Yeah, Jane, you really failed me on that one. <laughs> I was like, this is perfect because I was holding Liam and I couldn't write. <laughs> um, it was exactly like that. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, who has someone in their life that um, drains them and they're close to them? They're, I mean, just really, and you love them. And that's okay. You love them. And that is okay to love them from a distance. And it is okay to just text them back and have those conversations just less often. It's not, and you never, you don't have to be like, I mean, I've had a, I've been distancing myself from this person for one year. It's been one year in the making and I'm still doing it. And now it, this person's getting a little bit closer and I'm like, whoa, okay, I got to just back up a little bit more. So I'm going to text with this person because it's much faster. I can actually like get words in because this person talks shockingly more than me. <laughs> I know it's weird. <laughs> so, but it's very hard. So, but do that. And it's not going to be an overnight thing, but when you do that, you guys, and then you lean into like Morgan said, our, our, not, not just our level up. We have our new coach training thread that I reactivated today because I was like, I miss talking to everybody. Like, I want to add value to you guys' lives. I want to speak with you on a regular basis. And if it is a life crisis and you don't want to share, you can still come to us. You can still message us. Like Morgan said, let us breathe confidence into you. Let us breathe positivity into you. We have been doing this for a little bit longer than you guys. So sometimes it's easier to get an outsider's perspective on it doesn't have to be beach body related. But to get that outsider's perspective so we can say, hey, look at it this way. Do it this way. Or let us make suggestions this way. Because we've gone through a lot and we've grown a lot on our journeys. And we want to be able to be there for you. Does that make sense? And I don't, you guys come to these calls, you're present in the team page, you're awesome in the challenge groups, you want to be present in your business, then it's time to really take what Morgan said and, and show up. It's time to invite. It's time to follow up. It's time to do the hard. It's time to, like the, the other book we love, is get over your damn self and just do it. Because the only thing that's holding you back is you. Literally you. All those quotes Morgan shared. Jane, did you did you write those down, please, Jane? <laughs> she did. That's a situation. It's that, heavy, it's that heavy wedding ring that's holding her hand down. I know. Oh, J Jane, can we see it? Get it up close. Oh, congratulations. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Did he sell his car, Jane? I mean, geez. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love this tribe, you guys. But really, I want you to sit back, 
reflect on this call tonight. How can you change? You guys know um, beyond all the call to actions that Morgan gave you, I want you to post about this call, what connected with you, tag everybody on this call. I'll snap a photo. You can share a photo of yourself, of you and your kids, or you want to work, or whatever it is after this call. Go share what moved you. Share what you're going to do to take away. Share a tip that you learned and add value to someone else's life. I love doing that. Like these are my three top tips for moving with kids. Or these are, this is my ebook for dealing with depression and anxiety because that's what I, this is what helped me. You guys don't have to be an expert. You just have to be, have gone through it and share what, what has helped you. Um, and we have to grab a photo real quick. Hold on. What? Jane's usually ready. Jane, are you ready? <laughs> All right, everybody's good. All right. Our last. Everybody. Three. Wait, somebody's dark. Hold on. Okay. Awesome. I took one of myself like this. Jen, Jennifer's iPhone. Right. Hold on. Okay, ready? Yes. Three, two, one. And we'll do one more just in case because there's always. Okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. How'd you do that? Awesome. Thank you, Jane. So Jane will pop that into the team page if you guys want to use that or if you guys share something. Morgan, I, I literally can't, I just want to squeeze you. I can't wait to see you in October. I'm so <laughs> grateful for just, you rocked it. You rocked it. Miss, I'm not a leader. Oh my gosh. Crazy. You guys are amazing. You guys make it easy. <laughs> All right, guys. Everyone have a fabulous night. Um, and make sure you go love on Morgan and just comment on a couple of her posts and give her a big shout out for, for leading this call because she dropped it. So I love you guys. Love you girls. Have a great night.